This is Revelations 10, 10 and 9. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. And it shall be, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Hey, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that taught me this truth. And Shalom to the Akim that's pushing this word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Hey, I just opened up with that video, Revel uh, Salakia, that uh, verse, you know, uh, Revelation 10 and 9. And 10 also to uh, represent this truth that when you uh, first hear this truth you come into this thing you know that is sweet you know what I'm saying it's uh it's what you've been looking for all your life you know what I'm saying because you always knew that it was something wrong with this wicked kingdom all right you know this place that uh, we call America Babylon the Great you always knew it was something wrong with it but you never, you know, could put your finger on, you know, on on that one thing, you know. But uh, when you come into this, you know, you uh, you learning this truth through the elders, the apostles, a great millstone, hearing them break down the scriptures, call it a white man, the devil, you know, telling you who you are according to the Bible. You know what I'm saying? You Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, letting you know that you're Israelites. That hey, that's sweet. That's all sweet, and this that's. That's music to the ears, you know? But when you actually come in... It's a lot. When you actually come into this thing, and you actually get a deeper understanding, you know, and you're going out, you're going out on the highways and the byways, you're doing the videos, you know, you're pushing the word, it begins to get better because you know trials and tribulations um, start to pursue you. You know, and hell, you know, it's like hell come come at you at, uh, at every side. You know, and you be like, damn man, like why, why is it so hard? Like when I was in the world, you know, you struggle here and there, but you know, for the most part, you win. But when you come in this this truth, when you actually proclaim. You know that you're a Hebrew Israelite and that you know you put your hand to the plow with no intentions of turning back that's when the hell ensues you know what I'm saying that's just part of making you hard and getting you you know to making sure you're a good soldier fit for the kingdom but I you know I brought that that verse out because I was just meditating on the time that I had you know first heard this word and that it was sweet and I wanted to tell the whole world you know you know, you want to tell everybody you know, your friends, your family, you know, just passers by, you know, you try to strike, you try to create and strike up some conversation dealing with the truth, trying to see where the people's minds are at, you know. And um, I remember a time where I had sent out like a group test message to everybody I knew, right? And, um, you know, I'm, of course, you know, I brought out uh, Deuteronomy 28th chapter, going through the curses and breaking that down letting everybody I knew that, you know, y'all the children of Israel, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, considering the way I felt, you know, I felt I was elated when I heard it. So I'm thinking that people, you know, people that um that know me and, you know, the people that I know and deal with in the world, you would figure that, you know, it would be sweet to their ears too. But that wasn't the case though. That wasn't the case at all. Because, uh, you know, I sent it out. And instead of a niggas, because that's basically what they are, they niggas, they was ungrateful. Instead of, you know, telling me like, oh, thanks, you know, for putting these scriptures or, you know, tell me more. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean by this? You know, we, we, the, we the Israelites, like what you saying? You know, they didn't acquire the word. All they was doing, they was just, uh, they scoffed at the word and, and, and bitch moan and complain about, me taking up the, uh, you know, blowing up their texts. Cause I mean, I mean, I was sending messages after messages. So, you know, you know, they, uh, I don't 
don't know what you call it. They data or they, they text. I'm taking up they, they text usages because, like, at the time, you know, you didn't have unlimited text like you do now. You know, you get charged. You was getting charged, you know, if you go over, like, 100 or so, something like that. You know, these phone companies are charging per the text. So I'm blowing everybody text up and everybody complaining about that fact. About, man, why you sending all these texts? All these texts to my phone. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, it let me know that they didn't even read the text. They just complained that there's so many texts coming in, you know, boop, 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 you know, <laughs> they coming in back to back that they didn't even mind the content of what I sent. It's like, so what? Hell, it might have been an emergency, whatever. But did you read what I put, you know, that I sent through? Because when I sent through, it might save your life. But, um, you know, they didn't adhere to the word, you know what I'm saying? And that's the bitter part. That's the bitter, because, you know, you, you, in that moment, or in that moment, you know, I discovered, like, hey, everybody is not going to, um, they not gonna, you know, they not gonna take to this truth. They don't want to hear it because basically that's the will of the heavenly Father. He don't want them to get it. That's why the scriptures going to the one third and the two thirds. You know, in Zechariah, uh, I think it's Zechariah the thirteenth chapter. You know, but um, so that's the bitterness. You know, le learning and dealing with the fact that you gonna have to separate yourselves with the people that you grew up with. You know what I'm saying? People in your family, you know what I'm saying, that you used to associate with, go out, hang out, chill together, whatever. You say, damn, these really not, these not my uh, my brethren. These like, I'm related to them, but they not my family per se. You know what I'm saying? People in the world, these my friends, my associates, but they not my true friends because they, they, they don't feel they don't have an affinity and a love for this truth the way I do. So I learned in that moment, hey, I gotta cut these people off, man. Because if I don't, you know, they gon' they gonna draw me back in. It's a possibility they can draw me back in. So, hey, that's what I did at that moment. I say, hey, I just started, you know, backing away from people, keeping my distance. You know, every now and again, you may check in on them. Or they may call you like, damn, you ain't called me in a long time. Like, what's up? What, what, you know, what you been into? You know, hey, basically doing me. Tell them now, I'm doing me, which that's the case. For the scriptures say, you know, uh, you know, you got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You know, I think that's uh, Philippians. Should be uh, Philippians 2 and 12. Or at least the second chapter. But, um. You know, it was better. You know what I'm saying? Oh, matter of fact, like I was saying, you know, everybody not meant to get this thing. And um, you have a shot. Um, said that beautifully. Um, let me see if I can get it right quick. I'm kind of in transit. But, um, so like in one second, let's see. It's in Mark, I think it's in Mark also. Uh, 